Give me your hand, let's agree together that all our enemies will crumble at our feet. What if we bind on earth? We'll be bound in heaven at the name of Jesus. Satan has to flee. We've got the power in the name of Jesus. We've got the power in the name of the Lord. Though Satan rages, we cannot be defeated. We've got the power in the name of the Lord. For many years now, Satan's tried to stop us. But the church of Jesus is still alive like a mother the army that keeps marching onward winning every battle with the Lord by our side we've got the power in the name of Jesus we've got the power in the name of the Lord, though Satan rages, we cannot be defeated. We've got the power in the name of the Lord. We've got the power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we've got the power in the name of the Lord. Though Satan rages, we cannot be defeated. We've got the power in the name of the Lord. seen my last tomorrow I am holding my last breath goodbye sweet world of sorrow my new life begins with death. I am standing on the mountain. I can hear the angel songs. I am reaching over Jordan. Take my hand, Lord, lead me home. All my burdens are behind me. I have prayed my final prayer. Don't you cry.
Jordan, take my hand, Lord, lead me home. Take my hand, Lord, lead me home. Welcome back to... uh Lighthouse Ministries Jubilee right here on YouTube and Facebook. We do have a prayer list this week, and we want you to remember Sister Sandy in prayer. She's got uh, some back problems, and she wasn't able to sing today. We used some pre-recorded material from her. Uh, just be much in prayer for her, and uh, along with John Childress, Marie Nations from down on uh, uh, Culberson, Toot Calvin, Lisa Carringer Moore, Katie Carter, Evelyn Luther is back in the hospital at Asheville. We ask you to. Keep praying for her. Summer Carringer, the Jerry Beavers family, and our own Sandy Carringer. Like I say, she's uh, been having some back problems, and we give her the day off and told her just to take care of herself and get better, and we would use some earlier videos from her for the singing today. Fathers, we come to you this morning, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you would be with those on our prayer list, God. Father, others that we may not know of, God, be with them. You know the need of each and every heart. And Father, I ask, Lord, that you would uh, touch them with your healing hand this morning, God. And Father, we're going to believe you for healing in all these people. And we ask it in Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you would, turn with me to 1 Timothy, chapter 1. We're going to start out with verse 12, and I'm having a hard time seeing the Bible this morning. Let me see if I can get this raised up a little bit here. There we go. And... Uh, just uh, be praying for us this morning that we would uh, ever take a stand for the Lord and do what He'd have us to do. And uh, it's our heart's desire to see that somebody is saved or gets saved while watching the um, telecast here on Facebook and YouTube. And we just pray, Lord, that you would bless and have your way today. And the book says, And I thank Jesus, I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who hath enabled me, for he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer, a persecutor, and injurious. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful saving. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Howbeit for this cause I obtain mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor 
and glory forever and ever. Amen. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went on before thee, that thou by, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare, holding faith and a good conscience, which some having putting, put away concerning faith have made shipwreck, of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. Father God, as we come to you this morning, Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you would use this message for thy glory. Father, just give me the words to speak this morning. Father, and enable me to decrease, Lord, while you do the increase. And Father, we just pray, Lord, that this message would touch some lost soul, Lord, that they might become saved today. And this we ask in the lovely name of Jesus and for your sake. Amen and amen. Friends, we all know that we must go through Jesus to be saved. Now, some preachers will tell you there's many ways to be saved. But the only way to God is through Jesus Christ. He is the one who intercedes for God. He's the one that speaks to us to be saved. And Father God, we just pray, Lord, that if anyone out there is listening today, Lord, that don't know you as our personal Savior, Father, lift them up. Fill them with conviction, Lord, that they would ask you into their heart. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, Sometimes we make a false confession to Jesus Christ that we want to be saved. But when we get up from the altar, we're just as lost as if we were when we knelt down. That's because we don't get sincere with God like we should. If you want to be saved... You've got to be earnest with God. You've got to have that want to be delivered from your sins. Many times I've been in services where people would bow at the altar and get up proclaiming to be saved. But once they went outside those doors at the back of the church, they was just as lost as they was when they walked in because they didn't give it all to Jesus Christ. We've got to be earnest when we ask Jesus Christ in our heart. We've got to be truthful with God. Being truthful with God is what sets us free from sin. Now I'm here to say this morning, if you have a desire to worship God, if you have a desire to put all your sin behind you, you can be saved this morning. But you got to have that desire. you got to have that want in order to be saved. You've got to be earnest with God. And by being earnest, I mean you've got to lay down your heart. You've got to be truthful with God. Lord, I'm a sinner. Help me, Jesus. God, save my soul. Lord, I want to live for you each and every day of the rest of my life. God, come into my life. Save my soul. Lord Jesus, Father, I just pray, Lord, that you would lead, guide, and direct me 
throughout the remainder of my life, Lord, that I would ever do what you would have me do. Oh, Father, help me, Jesus, Lord, that I would do what you'd have me to. And that's all there is to it. But you've got to be honest. You've got to have that desire to live for Jesus. You know, a lot of people think, well, I, I went to the altar and I said, Jesus saved my soul. I've got to be saved. But if you're not living for God each and every day, I got bad news for you, friends. You're not saved if you're not living for God seven days a week. Father, help us, Lord. Give us the words to say that you'd have us to this morning. Father, we give all the praise and the glory to you. In Jesus' precious name. Lord Jesus, I've seen a lot of people come to the altar and kneel down, get back up shouting, Lord, I'm saved. Lord, I'm saved. But you see no fruit coming from them. You know, I talked last week on works, or faith without works is dead. And that's exactly what you have if you're not earnest with God when you go to the altar. Your faith is dead because you're putting out no works. When you get saved, you've got to You've got a wanting to. You've got a, a lingering to serve Jesus with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your body. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, for delivering me from the path I was on. Thank you, Lord, for putting me on the right path. Lord, that I could ever serve you and do what you'd have me to. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just want to praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Praise your sweet holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Son of God. Glory to Jesus. And we have a phone number on the bottom of the screen that flashes on and off. If you need prayer and you need someone to talk you through salvation, give me a call. I will be gladly to help you. I will be glad to lead you to the cross, to the throne of mercy. With Jesus Christ. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for what you've given us this morning, God. Father, we realize this has been short again. But, Father, I believe that when you get through giving the words, it's time for me to hush. So, Father, we just pray, Lord, that someone out there that's listening to this message today, God, would be earnest with you, would be true in giving their heart and their life to you. And Lord, may they ever serve you. It's our sincere prayer. And we give you the honor and the glory. For it's all in Jesus' sweet name we humbly ask. Amen and amen. If you're watching this morning, we just pray, Lord, that you would keep watching as we come to you each and every week. Our services don't last long. Our messages are kind of short. But like I said, I believe when God quits talking to me, I need to shut up and quit too. Amen. I don't want nothing to be out of my out of my mind I don't want to add nothing to what Jesus has given me 
That's what I'm trying to say. So until we meet again, hopefully next week, may God bless each and every one of you is our sincere prayer. May each and every one of you have a blessed divine week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.